I hope. Excuse me. It's been a few weeks. Um, I have had bronchitis. Yes, I'm coughing more than usual. Um, the car is, or this is the turbo car, obviously. Um, we've uh, had the car painted, or had the chassis painted. Um, just mainly because uh, I don't want to powder coat it until we've done all the body moulding. But um, I am taking it to a local uh, a local show. Um, it's one of the better shows in Calgary called uh, Driven. And I didn't want the sort of slightly patinaed chassis there. So uh, I didn't want a powder coat because to knock the powder coat off if we need to redo it. Yeah, and it takes a lot of stop blasting. So... What we did instead is we just uh, had it shot blasted and got them to throw some grey paint at the uh, um, chassis and some blue paint at the suspension components. So it kind of looks quasi finished, but to be honest, it'll all be blasted off again. And it's easy to blast the paint off, so um, powder coating not so much. I was going to powder coat the wishbones and stuff, but it ends up the colour that I particularly wanted, which is like a metallic blue, they couldn't get in time, and the show's in uh, like a week or two's time, so. <coughs> Didn't want to delay it, so I was going to paint it, so we'll blast it again. But, um, you've probably seen by the pictures on the, the bill thread, we had a lot of anodizing done. Didn't have the motor plates done, obviously the rear motor plates not light and jet, still haven't finished it, so. Uh, but we had all the gold parts anodized, uprights, and rockers, and all the little bits and pieces, and all the tiny little spaces that go in the rod ends here, rod ends out. Um, you probably see it better off on the <coughs> on here. All the spaces for the push rods, the billet pedals, the uh, mounts, the steering rack are all anodized now. So, so yeah, it kind of looks it looks a lot better like that. Um, see the components. Um, it's probably first time I've dropped the actual rotors since we've got them. Uh, the AP J hook rotors they're on now. So calipers are on and the offsets were 35 different 35 thou so just short of a millimeter different on the <coughs> the bells that we had um, they actually had on the shelf uh, so the front calipers needed or the front mounts we made uh, we had to put a 35 thou spacer on the rears I never drilled on purpose just in case anything was different and uh, so we redrilled the holes in the right or just drilled the holes in the right place in the first place so but I can get these rotors off the shelf in the US, so uh, 355 by 32 APJ hooks. So <coughs> the brakes are all on. Obviously, the motor plate is all in now. Um, converted this one idler. Didn't like it when the belt was the other side, but it was a plain idler before, obviously, on the back, and the belt went underneath it. Didn't like it, it went too close to, on the adjuster. If it came up, if it whipped, it would have hit the belt back. So basically, Swap the idler out for a six tooth grooved pulley and put the belt on this side and now it's worked out a little bit, little bit better. We've lost probably two or three degrees rotation on the belt on the alternator but it's not, it's not too much. Um, so yeah, motor plate on, real dead happy about that. That's all in. Um, Machine some billet valve covers. They're on. Um, a little bit heavy at the moment, we haven't lightened them out but yet again I wanted to get ready for the show. <coughs> so. We've done the basic part of the rocker cover. Um, on the inside, if you can imagine the inside here, the rockers still touch the back here, so the rockers aren't on at the moment. Uh, so I need to set up the mill with this at an angle. Um, and we need to mach machine and lighten the back out. Once that's lightened, I know how much room I've got, plenty of, then I'll probably put some lightning pockets on either side of those as well, just to knock some weight. So they're about 1.6 kilos a side, and I can probably get them down to about Probably about a kilo aside, probably a little bit heavier than stock, but pretty close. Yeah, it's nice to see it quasi together um, and then take it to the show. I didn't anodize the gear linkage in the end, just polished it up, but the billet pieces are kind of nice polished, so um, I do have a, a nice six and then obviously that horrible reverse indent but so yeah <clears throat> but yes so that's the turbo car oh right 
Yeah, you mounted the turbo ready to, excuse me while I get over the wheel here. Uh, mounted the turbo in position. Um, that's the eventual position we decided on. Uh, there's a T4 flange there and I've got the so 306, 304 stainless and I've got the flanges for the head. Uh, so basically we've just mounted with some temporary brackets. Uh, these are permanent, we have a mounted bracket. But <coughs> these are temp so that the header can be manufactured. So the two turbos will be on for the show but really they'll just be sat there. Um, bought some KM filters for it. They just fit in, they're pretty much going to be there. And it looks very much like we're going to replace the fuel cap put the fuel cap on the other side that goes into the rear bodywork here and then run a scoop where the fuel cap is to run some nice cool air straight down to the filter unit <coughs> uh, and then duct the air coming down the side through the intercooler so we'll have two intercoolers but they'll be low down and all the air from the side duct will be ducted through the intercooler <coughs> through the intercooler itself <coughs> we'll go intercooler then oil cooler on the one side that'll be kept in there but the condenser for the AC will be up the front with a radiator, like a normal car, so, but yeah, it's uh, nicely together, looks all nice and kind of almost finished with the paint on, to be honest, it makes a hell of a difference instead of a, you know, um, just bare steel with a little bit of patina, now it looks, yeah, now it looks kind of purposeful, so, uh, the reactions I'm getting on Instagram and Facebook, I'm guessing we we're probably going to get a quite a stir from the crowd there, but <coughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. So, so there we have it. One, one more stage further forward. Uh, now the show's on May the seventh. After the show, um, you can see the temporary brackets of the table on this side. Um, after the show, we'll be taking it to uh, unobtaining welding and they will be producing the, uh, the exhaust manifolds. Uh, where the exhaust manifolds are gonna come through to here, obviously we'll have a 60, we've got a 60 millimeter tail wastegates and they will sort of pop up here. So you can see the three inch exhaust quite easily comes round here and goes for a straight out the back. Um, and the 60 mil wastegate which sits here. So there are two pipes will form to the back and then we'll have the exhaust box above the gearbox here. And then probably a, uh, uh, an exit in the centre. But I'm going to do a nice little fancy, probably a, a titanium piece there. I'll make a wood book, and uh, Chris is going to fabricate an extremely fancy tailpipe for it, <coughs> which will um, be multifaceted, shall we say. So I'm going to make him a little wood book, and he can bend and form the titanium plates to that, and then weld it up and polish it. So. <coughs> it's going to be kind of cool, but uh, yeah, making some making some progress. Um, hopefully next month we'll be ordering the drive shafts. It's the game plan. Um, order for the Porsche and this at the same time. The wings come in, so we've got the wing for it now. Um, we'll do some rectification of the wing because the wings used, and then we'll take a mold off the wing, uh, the profile itself. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> okay, I'll take another clip of the Porsche and hopefully join them together. <laughs> 